So it's the third try at this video. We're going to be hacking Minecraft. And I've already showed you how to find the game source code, which is simply right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for known variables or what we can guess. So we're going to look up player. And I know there's a function for it. I also know there's something called a current player. So we're going to keep that put away. Oh, uh, this is from when, the last video. Um, this doesn't work. So these are some functions and variables that we can use. So let's go and start the game. So if we want, we can uh, just go to the code. There we go. So this is where a current player comes from. It gives you access to the player function, which is an object. So let's see. Our max stamina is 10. Let's see what happens if we change that. Max stamina equals 15. Ah, uh, well, that's something up there. Let's see. Uh, so, bar, health, I know what to put S. Health, S, stamina, and uh, just create those variables. So we're gonna try and say if S, health. Put current player dot now equals <coughs> current player dot max L. So all right, this is not working. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but if it doesn't, I'll use a set interval. Alright, so back over here. So set interval. Oh, you know what? So S tell equals set interval. Uh, so we're going to create an arrow function, which is two parentheses, an equal sign, right arrow, and open and close brackets, and then we'll set it to every 100 milliseconds. So in here, we're going to paste this code. This is going to be our infinite health hack. So there we go. As you can see, I added health already. As you can see, I can't die. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with our stamina. So if stamina equals set interval, no, let me just copy this code. So now I should be able to attack it infinitely. So 
So I can just uh, attack as much as I want. I can swim forever. Can't die. Uh, so that's using set interval and two variables to store those set in intervals. If we ever want to clear them, we just type in clear interval s health and that will remove our health hacker. We don't want to do that yet. Um, let's see what else. How many minutes are we in? Five minutes? Alright. So I have found some other keywords. Um, this is some of the source code that I copied down. And so this is something I use to get all the resource names. This is every resource you can name in the game. And uh, I use this code, which I created right a couple weeks ago. This will just spawn. This is annoying. This will spawn a bunch of items around us. Random items. Uh, so drop resource. So it'll go through every resource, starting from zero to twenty. As you can see, the variable i is right here. So it's going to spawn that ID. I believe this is the x and y position of it. No, no, the x and y position is right here. The ID, and I don't remember what these two were, but let's check it out. As you can see, I can spawn any item I want. I can spawn enemies, but it ruins the game. So, but um, so this is a tutorial. Making these things was all through trial and error, and collecting the source code. So let's say, uh, so there's zombie, zombie dot. And is the position I'm not sure if I can set this max up. No, I can't. So let's go ahead and we can actually test breakpoints in here. How much time do I actually have? Two minutes? Alright. So let me pause this while I look for something so I can just show. Okay, so I said I was gonna show something about the debugger and uh, how to check when certain things are happening. So we're gonna go right here where um, the mob object is gonna um, pretty much die for any any enemy. As you can see, it's right here. So what you're gonna do is you click right here. It adds a breakpoint. So let's go find an enemy to attack. He died. It bought, it paused itself. Let's go ahead and look at the scope. Health is negative two. It's definitely dead. Level one, max health five. So let's see. Let's check what it has. Drop items. taking a while. Alright, so I couldn't figure this out. Um, couldn't find anything new yet. But I will continue on the next video creating user scripts. And after that will be the Chrome extension.